Gentleness. By the grace of Allah, you are gentle towards the people. If you had been harsh and hard-hearted, they would have dispersed from around you. Quran 3-159 A companion who served Muhammad, peace be upon him, for ten years said that Muhammad, peace be upon him, was always gentle in his dealings with him. When I did something, he never questioned my manner of doing it. And when I did not do something, he never questioned my failure to do it. He was the friendliest of all men. On one occasion, the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him, reacted angrily after being insulted by a person. The Prophet, peace be upon him, advised her, be gentle and calm, O, oh, Aisha, as Allah likes gentleness in all affairs. He also said, show gentleness. For if gentleness is found in something, it beautifies it, and when it is taken out from anything, it makes it deficient. Humbleness. And the servants of the most gracious God, are those who walk on the earth in humbleness, and when the ignorant address them, they say, Peace. Quran 25-63 The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to prevent people from standing up for him out of respect. He used to sit wherever there was a place available in an assembly and never sought a prominent or elevated place. He never wore anything to distinguish himself from his companions or appear in higher rank than them. He used to mix with the poor and the needy. He used to sit with the elderly and support the widows. People who did not know him could not tell him apart from the rest of the crowd. Addressing his companions, he said, Allah has revealed to me that you must be humble. No one should boast over one another, and no one should oppress another. Such was his humbleness that he was fearful of being worshipped, a privilege only befitting God. Do not exceed bounds in praising me as the Christians do in praising Jesus, son of Mary. I am only the Lord's servant. Then call me the servant of Allah and his messenger, the ideal husband and live with them, your spouses, in kindness. Quran 419. The Prophet's beloved wife, Aisha, said of her noble husband, he used to repair his shoes, sew or mend his clothes and do what ordinary men did in their houses. Not only was he a devoted husband, he also encouraged his companions to follow his example. The most perfect of the believers in faith are the best of them in morals and the best among them are those who are best to their wives. The ideal example. Indeed you, O Muhammad, are on an exalted standard of character. Quran 68-4 What has preceded is only a glimpse of how Muhammad, peace be upon him, lived his life. The examples of kindness and mercy mentioned may come as a surprise to some people given the portrayal of Islam in the media and its constant misrepresentation. It is important when trying to understand Islam that one goes directly to its sources, the Quran, and the sayings and actions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and that anyone does not judge Islam based on the errant actions of a few Muslims.